All right, chip of the day. Uh, today's chip is an LM395. Uh, I have not run across one of these, but I did in this uh, WaveTech RF generator that I'm working on. It's used these LM395s, and it was right alongside an LM317, which is just a regular 3-volt regulator. And I just kind of said, well, they're LMs and they're a 3 series, so they just must be a regulator. And I didn't really look at the schematic even. Uh, I just figured they were they were some type of uh, three terminal regulator. Three terminal regulator. I just haven't run across before, but no, they are basically when the designers of the three terminal regulators got done with them, they said, "Hey, you know, we could take the back end out of those things and just make a fake transistor. <laughs> it acts like a um, an NPN transistor." But take a look at it. It's got a current source into it with some protection circuitry monitor looking at the voltage drop across a 0.1 ohm resistor. Um, so basically, the stuff that made three terminal regulators bulletproof, they made a basically an NPN transistor with all those goodness in it. So it's got a protection diode for reversal. It's got the too high of a current. It's got all this pretty, pretty cool stuff in here. It actually has thermal, uh, it's, the protection circuitry actually ha uh, monitors the thermal stuff as well. So it'll, it'll shut down if it gets too hot. It'll shut down if it takes too much current. It'll shut down if it's in backwards. It's basically a bomb-proof NPN, NPN. And I think this is just, this is just great. <laughs> this is wonderful. Um, so, yeah. And uh, it says uh, greater than one, one amp output. So it's like a one amp, uh, this, the ones I have are TO220. They do come in TO3s and they came in 220s and TO5s, which nobody has. Um, but yeah, it's good for 35 volt, 36 volts. And uh, typical 2.2 amps with a caveat there. So um, this is the graph of interest, uh, short circuit protection. So basically, if you've got 10 volts of a collector to emitter, it'll do it'll do almost two amps. But generally, at temperature and at voltage and everything, it's guaranteed above a, above an amp. So yeah, that's uh, this is a pretty cool device. What kind of HFE do they uh, do they claim on this thing? Let's see. Let me really look at that. Uh, HFE, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they, might not, they might not even uh, call it out since it's a strange beast. Uh, transconductance. Hmm. Interesting. Transfer function. Hmm. Let's give a transfer function here. Collector current. Base emitter voltage. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a bizarre beast. One amp, three mos. I don't know. Kind of a weird, weird beast. Anyway, um, yeah. So I don't know if they make these anymore. Uh, I've got to look around. I think they could be really handy. So if anybody knows if there's a new modern replacement to these. Uh, Please comment below, because I just didn't know this existed, and it looks, seems like it'd be really handy if you want something completely bulletproof. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. Um, so the way that they're used in the schematic uh, for this uh, application is they're using a uh, they're using an op amp to monitor the voltage, and then they're comparing that with a the reference. They have a, a ref O2, which is a pretty Pretty schmick um, a voltage reference. It's here in a TO5 can on this one. Um, and so that generates uh, that generates the plus voltage. And once you got that a going, you can bring it down over here and generate the minus voltage. Yeah. So they're using this to generate the plus, and then the plus is a is a multiple of the uh, and the minus is a multiple of the plus. And they just use these two pass transistors. 
and away you go. So in the circuit, uh, they are here and here, and then also uses a 317 over here, and uh, does have some adjustments, and those adjustments are here for the minus 18, and here for the plus 18. So yeah, those are available on the board as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, put a dummy load on this thing and see if we actually can get an amp of current through these transistors and the circuit's working just fine. That's a good test to do. We'll use a dummy load for that. All right, I'm gonna test the power supply under load outside of the other circuits to make sure the power supply can handle the current. Now, I believe we should be able to get one amp at 18 volts and minus 18 volts. So uh, I have uh, 18 volts going into my little uh, dummy load here, and I have this set to one amp. And so uh, it just timed out on me. Turn that back on. Okay, and let me turn this on. And there we go. We get 17.99 uh, volts at one amp. So at least uh, the plus plus 17 is working. All right, so let's uh, turn this off. We will go to minus. So we will swap the leads around here. The minus is on pins four and five. One, two, three, four. All right, so here's minus 18. Okay, I turn it back on. Let's load that. Eighteen volts at one amp. Okay, so the power supply has been blessed. At least it goes to an amp. That should be plenty enough. Um, yeah. Okay. So I can put power supply, power supply back in, and not worry about him. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, chip of the day was an LM395, uh, a fancy transistor with lots of goodies inside.